What is going on, everyone? Welcome to our week two Monday Night Football edition of our live stream, giving out our picks for Falcons at Eagles uh, tonight. Like I said, week two of the NFL. We just saw our Sunday slate come to an end last night with Bears Texans. Uh, Texans is a six point favorite. The line pushes Texans get the win. Uh, they got the pressure to uh, Caleb Williams, the young rookie, number one overall pick. Now we have another new look team with this Falcons team. I know we've seen them in week one against my Steelers. Uh, new look Eagles as well with Saquon Barkley. It's going to be an interesting matchup tonight with Atlanta heading to Philly. Philly, a five and a half point favorite now in this game. Whenever we talked last, it was six and a half um, over under at 45 and a half. Eagles money line minus 250 Falcons plus 200. Is A.J. Brown playing in this game? No, that's the big storyline. A.J. Brown has been ruled out. He was ruled out early yesterday. So those of you that had him in your lineup, hopefully you were able to swap him out for fantasy purposes. But there's going to be a lot of targets to go around without him. Maybe Jahan Dotson, who they brought in from the commander, steps up. Maybe they get the ball to Barkley even more. Devontae Smith should have a big game. Maybe Dallas Goddard, Quez Watkins. Um, or do they stick to the ground? That's going to be the storyline here. But no, A.J. Brown's a pretty big miss for the Eagles tonight. Yeah, I, I would say so. I think kind of kind of like what you said, I think they'll just kind of lean on what their success was last week, and that was getting Saquon Barkley the ball early and often, uh, get him going. Obviously, coming off the three touchdowns, you got to think it's it's hard. It's going to be hard for him to repeat that performance, but what we just saw from Kamara in week two, just some of these teams just go with what works, and especially when your number one wide receiver's out, I think the Eagles plan to run the ball. I think it'll be a lower-scoring game tonight. Um, due to the both teams kind of wanting to run the ball. We saw the struggles with Kirk Cousins against that Steelers defense going up in a similar situation. Kirk Cousins in the prime time never does good. Give me the Eagles. Uh, I like the five and a half points. It's scaring me that it's going down, down, and down. Obviously, that's with the injury to A.J. Brown. It doesn't really affect yeah. my opinion on this game too much. I love the under more. I'll take the under 45 and a half as my official pick on this one. Yeah, I like that underplay here on Monday Night Football. Two teams with strong defenses that they invested into this offseason as well. These Falcons desperately trying to be relevant in a weak NFC South. They went out and paid Kirk Cousins and drafted Michael Pennis to address their quarterback situation that hasn't been consistent for years. Um, they still have Bijan Robinson, Kyle Pitts, Drake London, that three-headed snake of three guys who are supposed to be a lot better than they performed so far. And then on the defensive side of the ball, they brought in Jesse Bates, they brought in Justin Simmons, they brought in Matt Judon. They have some other good pieces there, I believe A.J. Terrell as well. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if they're able to slow them down without A.J. Brown for the Philadelphia Eagles. I think Saquon Barkley continues his dominance here as a new Eagles player. I like him to find Pater. That'll probably be be on my card once again maybe he finds it twice if he had the hat trick in week one um but i think without aj brown i'm going to look into the props here i'm going to look into those receptions for barkley maybe dots and receiving yards over i think kyle pitts has a solid game in the prime time as well as Bijan robinson picking a side here is pretty tough with a five and a half point spread i'd like to think the eagles can cover it but there's a chance that i think the falcons can win as outright dogs because the eagles at points didn't look great but they ended up getting going against a good packers team last week Jalen Hurts has to play a little bit better than he did last week to continue to have a winning record. Um, I think that happens here tonight. I could see two to three. I could see three touchdowns for the Eagles tonight with a pair of field goals, and then um, the the Falcons ending up with two touchdowns and a pair of field goals. Maybe that does cover them twenty four twenty score something like that. So, is there a chance they win as underdogs outright on the prime time? Yes, but like you said, Kirk Cousins and Monday Night Football do not go hand in hand. Yeah, I was uh, I was kind of thinking along the lines of a similar score scenario. That's why I kind of was staying away from this spread. I kind of like 24-20, 24-17. Obviously, that would get the Eagles the spread, but I could see it sit somewhere in there. Um, both fit under that under 45 and a half, so that's going to be my official pick on this game. Um, make sure you stay in tune to our cards. Though. We'll get some official plays out later in the day, see what we're going with. Uh, officially Do you think in. there's any chance the Falcons are able to take the win tonight, though? What's their official money line sitting at right now? Plus 200 on MGM with what, what we're looking at here. Pretty good value for a banged-up Eagles team. I mean, Devontae Smith, you, it's a lot harder to cover all those guys when they're one peg lower in the pecking order for the Eagles and their receiving core, but they all move up one. Maybe there's a chance the Falcons can steal well, it and make some noise. Would you take the – Would do you think it's a better bet saying if the Falcons are going to hang around, they're going to win the game? Yeah, I, I think that there's a chance of that in the prime time. I think Young Hoku is a good kicker too um to keep them relevant but there's a part of me that sees the eagles just rolling too because just last week they couldn't find the end zone at all or any offensive success i know the steelers are one of the best defenses in the league and that's why they're two and zero right now so maybe we take it with a grain of salt but the falcons were limited very very much so in their first game with the new quarterback under the center 
Yeah, I'm going to have to see it. I said that with this Falcons team. I got to see it before I can believe it with this new-look Falcons team. Obviously, Kirk Cousins going up in the prime time against a, a who I think is one of the top dogs in the NFC and the Eagles. I think this is just uh, – they're going to – I can see them start 0-2. I don't think their season will be over. Uh, the Saints mm-hmm. look like world beaters down there in the NFC South. Bucks, uh, the Bucks look very good as well at 2-0. and um, Obviously, they, they, you don't want to start 0-2. Panthers, they're out of this division. This is a three-man race. <laughs> Um, they're they're on the fringe of being two and zero, two and zero, zero and two, zero and two in the NFC South. Um, a lot of people pegged the Falcons to win this division. Um, I don't see them getting a win here. I, I like the Eagles. I think they just go with what works with Barkley. Um, I think maybe even you could see Hertz scamper one in tonight. Mm-hmm. Um, he could probably steal one from Barkley. That's the only thing that would scare me about taking a two. Uh, if they get close, uh, they love running it with him. He has all the design runs. Obviously, the tush push. We've seen it a million times. Um, but yeah, give me the Eagles. Uh, I lean the Eagles spread. Love that under 45 and a half. I'm probably going to lock that in. Yeah, same with that Barkley touchdown for me. I know the odds might be pretty steep. We'll have to shop it around and find the best ones. But like Huff said, check out our official plays. Um, been another great week of football here. All of our teams, Mackey's at 1 1. I'm at 1 1. Huff at 2 0. So a decent start by all of our boys um, on the podcast. But a lot of other big narratives too. That Chiefs Bengals game yesterday, it was a nail biter. That was a good one. Yeah. Marvin Harris on that spread there. I, I, Chiefs just couldn't pull away for me. They kept hanging around and letting Cincinnati. They were take lucky to win back. that one. I know that I was going to say they were lucky to even get the win, but same um, old, same old for the I had a tough day on the card yesterday. I know that Rams uh, didn't win. Chiefs didn't cover. It was a tough day. Yeah, it was 500 going into the Sunday night football slate. Joe Mixon's injury didn't help me. Um, He would have gotten that goal and carry that acres fumbled away. Would have liked to have seen that for a four and three day, but if I get one or two on the card tonight, hit those. We end with a positive week once again. So definitely going to dive in and find these props. Look at those Barkley ones, maybe the receptions, maybe the touchdown. Um, like I said, Dotson, Smith, Pitts, also looking their way as well tonight. Absolutely. Yeah, make sure you're staying tuned on our social media. We'll get our official plays out for Monday Night Football for Falcons at Eagles. Uh, we'll try to have everything posted by, say, 6.30, 6, 6.30 p.m. tonight. So uh, keep your eye on our social media. If you uh, ever miss any of the plays, make sure you turn on those post notifications. Um, really goes a long way. Make sure you're not missing any of our free plays, whether that be NFL, NBA, NHL, or um, MLB. Obviously, we still have MLB going. Um, But yeah, thanks for listening. And we will see you guys this week for our week two recap and week three analysis on Thursday. Thanks for listening.